Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we're going to talk about timing. We want to delay something. That's we talked about we need timers and so on, and so we need some adjustable time simply. Yeah? And the idea was to use analog elements inside our digital circuit. What was the idea? I show you. Okay, so we do have here somewhere a logic. Does not really matter what what element it is, yeah? we have an input yeah? and we have an input state. So we have here somewhere an xi, an input to our logic element and we have somehow uh, an, an x element yeah? which is internally recognized. Yeah? So here we have x. Yeah? So this is either 0 or 1. Yeah? And this is analog. Well, it's analog. And the analog signal is interpreted either as 0, if it's too low, or as 1, if it's high enough. Okay? So, the idea then was to simply not directly go into the... but use a resistor. and a capacitor. Because actually what is happening now is that, that if we switch here uh, a voltage level, yeah, then the capacitor will stay at zero. It's not charged. Yeah? It's, like, it's like you would put in in, an, in, a pneumatic, in a pneumatic way, you would in, put in here some, some uh, vessel, yeah? some some area simply to be filled with air. So the, the charges are, well, because of the resistor, slowly, uh, slowly reaching the capacitor, uh, usually C, and the capacitor is charged slowly via this R. Uh, the bigger they are, the slowly the capacitor is charged. And the, the voltage at the capacitor is rising from zero and then at some point in time later after I switched on this 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 uh, voltage here at some point in time this will reach the trigger level all right so here we have this xi And up front here we have XO, what we on the outside put in. Yeah? And now let's see how this would look like. Here's the time t, yeah? and here's the voltage level, yeah? x. Yeah? And actually, here's the voltage level for logically 1. Whatever this is. Yeah? Often we have 5 volts, often we have 3 to 3 volts, does not really matter. Yeah? This is logically on. Alright? And now, at some point in time, we will switch on XO, uh, the outer voltage will be switched on. Zack. Alright. XI will slowly rise. Uh, so, here we have some sort of time constant. This is defined. This is tau equals r dot c. Yeah? So r in ohm and c in farad gives the time delay or the time 
And here we would have um, this amount, uh, one, two, three, yeah, here. So this will be how xi will look like. All right. Good. And these inputs. Uh, I already mentioned it before at a, at a point in time. We have here a guaranteed high level. Here the input will be guaranteed 1. Uh, and here Below a certain level, it will be guaranteed zero. Okay? And in between, we have the forbidden. Forbidden area. Why is that forbidden? Yeah? Because, you know, there, it's, there are analog elements inside. Of course, it's an analog. Our, however, we try to chuck, chuck, trigger very fast, very fast edges and so on. However, those things inside, they are analog. Huh? And somewhere in this forbidden area, it is not defined where, and this is now the bad thing, huh? it is not defined where we have our trigger levels. Huh? So let's say here we have the real trigger level. of our element. This is the level where we change from 0 to 1. All right? And somewhere a little bit below we have another trigger level and this is the level where we change from 1 to 0. Where those things are is not defined. Why? Because it simply makes the elements cheaper. Yeah? We say guarantee that's that's guaranteed yeah? and that's also guaranteed. Here's zero, here's one. In between it is not exactly defined where we trigger. In this, exactly like I've shown you, in with this element, yeah, when we really trigger here from 0 to 1, exactly at this moment in time, our internal tuck our internal x is switching to 1. And here we have this delay time. Yeah? Here we have a delay time. This is actually what we wanted, right? Yeah. We wanted to have a delay time. Yeah. And now imagine we have a different element. Yeah. Then the trigger level would be a little bit above or below and the delay time is changing because the, the, the capitus, capacitor is charged exactly the same way. So the delay time depends on the element I put in here. Uh, I can put an end and another end and they will have two different delay times. <laughs> uh, this is not good. This is really not good. Yeah. Imagine, imagine you would have something like this, that we have here this RC element. Yeah. And then we have one element with one, and then we have one element not one. Yeah? And we would expect if we have here x yeah? and here y, that 
that this is not y. However, it's not true in every circumstance because it's two different elements, all right? And one might have a trigger level here and the other has a trigger level here. Ha! Ah. Ah, not good. Not good. Yeah? Not good. All right here. Must not be the same. Need, no, no, must not. <laughs> Need not to be the same. Yeah. This was a false friend because in German, muss nicht means you don't need to. In, in English, must not means you really have to. <laughs> you have to, you don't really don't have to, of course. Must not be the same because of different trigger levels. And these are the trigger levels here. How to solve this? Huh? You could do it, you could do it like that. Here we have already a digital signal. Better. Alright? Because digital signal, back, back, it's switching fast and we have it much better. Huh? Why? Yeah, that's an issue. That's an issue with our with our um, analog trigger signals. I'll reach in here, the top somewhere. That's it. Another issue that we also have this when switching off, right? So let me go up here, and then we switch it off. Then of course the time constant will remain the same. Yeah, somewhere here. Here we again have tau, r multiplied by c, and we will simply be reducing this. And now imagine. Here we will switch to, to zero again, exactly here, because here we are reaching the trigger level for going down. Alright, and now imagine somebody turns already on here. So it's not fully decharged, huh? this, this, this capital. So we're starting, actually we're starting here, yeah? and we will gain exactly the same curve, but not starting here, not starting here, but starting here. Yeah? And we will end up in a situation where we already trigger here. I will use this, this band and you see it better. We end up in a situation where we trigger here already. Took. And suddenly the delay time here yeah, this is different, is smaller than DD. 
Oh, so an issue. Oh, so an issue. Yeah? That it depends on how quick we are switching those elements. Nah. Now you see, you know, there were solutions with, it, with quick discharge, uh, discharge uh, circuits and so on, where the, the, the uh, discharge time constant, this tau, is significantly decreased so that we can whoop quickly drop down, <sighs> but <sighs> a lot of effort, a lot of space is needed by those elements. Yeah? This is why analog timers are not that common anymore, yeah? have not that importance that they used to have. However, I think it is important to know yeah, that there is this forbidden area, that there's a zero and one, that there are trigger levels which are not defined, they are somewhere in the forbidden area, and, and what consequences this behavior might, might have. Yeah? This is why I told you about analog timers. We will discuss then other timers with, with counters and so on. Digital timers, yeah, they are working in every circumstance. Yeah. Okay. Next time we're going to talk about memory. Now, finally, which was announced already, I think, two videos ago. Now we're talking about memory. How to remember things yeah, with logic, yeah, logic base elements. Yeah. We will see. Yeah. Next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.